Hey there, great morning. I'm going to talk about my daily routine. All right, so we are going to talk about my daily routine. I'm going to share with you how I use my goal cards, how I use my exceptional life blueprint every single day, and how do you stay mega productive, right? These are crazy, chaotic times. And what are we supposed to do? when our whole lives have been disrupted mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, financially, right? So what are you supposed to do to stay on track? How do you really get the most out of your day? How do you earn more money? How do you stay healthier? How do you have a better relationship in the midst of all that chaos? So if that's what you want to hear today, if you want to be a part of understanding the framework and the process that you can use in these crazy times to actually achieve more, have more, be more, uh, you're in the right place. And I want to share with you um, something that's really, really critical. And it's how to use these goal cards that I have these created for all of my clients. And I have them on my desk. I got tons of them on my desk that I can use all the time. So uh, first and foremost, do you have a daily routine? Do you have a morning routine? Do you have an afternoon routine? Do you have an evening routine now that most of the world is at home most people do not have a routine or they have one but they're not deliberately focusing on how to be maximally productive every single moment of every day and since your greatest asset is time the question is are you using time well there is no such thing as time management no such thing the only thing you can do is manage what you do in time. And when you manage what you do in time, you're either going to be highly productive or you're going to waste a lot of time. So what do you do when you wake up? What do you do when you first wake up? And I'm going to share a couple things with you. Number one, all right, when you first wake up, that is your time to set the tone for the day. So are you getting up and going and doing something productive or unproductive? What about starting off every day as you wake up, as you open your eyes, why not start with a gratitude practice? What are you grateful for? If you woke up this morning and you put your feet on the floor, you can be grateful for being alive. Do you know what that does to your brain? What does it do to your brain? When you are grateful and you think of something you're grateful for, you're actually releasing the neurochemicals of whatever it is that you're, you're grateful for. So if you are grateful for your health, if you're grateful for your family, if you're grateful for being alive, you're releasing those neurochemicals of gratitude, which does what? Makes you feel good. So every morning I start off with what I am grateful for. That's number one. Number two, before I, uh, before I get into number two, is this um, you are developing new habits right now especially if you're at home and the question I want to ask you is are you developing empowering habits or are you developing disempowering habits a lot of people aren't considering the fact that if you're at home for two weeks four weeks six weeks eight weeks your new patterns are being created in your brain and if you repeat any pattern for 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, and you reinforce it, that pattern becomes a habitual pattern. So if you are focusing on constructive patterns, guess what happens? You build constructive patterns in your brain, and that then drives all of your thoughts, emotions, feelings, sensations, and behaviors. So if you just think that you're on vacation right now at home, working for home, and there's no uh, effect on that, you are making a serious error in your judgment. Now of all times is one of the best times for you to be able to focus on empowering patterns versus disempowering patterns, constructive ones instead of destructive ones, and positive ones instead of disempowering ones. All right, so not sure why, you know, so many people think that now they're on vacation. And I need to put this on pause for one second here. Um, not sure what, what just happened, but it seems like one of my videos just ended. Not sure why. Um, but if you're focusing on empowering patterns, then guess what happens? 
it gives you the opportunity so that when you get back to normal, what happens? You are able to be in control of empowering patterns. So start off with gratitude number one. Start off focusing on constructive habits. And after I do my gratitude, the very next thing that I do is meditation. Every day, every day, every day after I wake up, I go and sit and I meditate quietly. I connect to the source. I connect to uh, all of the essence of life. And I meditate either on a problem that I have, I want the solution, or I meditate on um, the global situation. I meditate by keeping my mind quiet, totally quiet as well, and eliminating all thought, and just tapping into the source of all supply that's within me and all around me, all right? So the question is, do you have empowering patterns or disempowering patterns? Most people don't focus on empowering positive habits and they're wondering, you know, why things are chaotic and stressful. You have to set up patterns that are calm so you can respond instead of stressful ones where you're reacting all the time. That's using the genius part of your brain, okay? And so that is how I start the first part of the morning. So this is my gratitude coin, all right? And it says the universe provides abundance to those who are grateful. So I look at this every day on my desk and I hold it every day just to be grateful, grateful, grateful. The other thing that I do is I have my exceptional life blueprint with about 45 pages in it of all of my vision and my goals and my life's mission, my inner mission, my outer mission, my principles for an exceptional life, my core prayer, uh, every goal for health, wealth, relationships, career, business, every single one of them is in my exceptional life blueprint. I review it every day. I prime my brain. I listen to it because I've recorded it. I review it every single day by going through it to prime my brain to focus on what it is that I want. And then I use my goal cards and I write out the three things that I am going to do that day. The three things I'm gonna get done that day. Why do I do this? Why do I invest a little bit of that time to get organized? Why? Because if I am directing my brain, my mindset, my emotions, my, what, my behaviors, guess who's going to thrive in these challenging times versus who's just gonna survive or go backwards, right? Think about it. If you are directing your mindset and your emotions and your behavior, and you're focused on how you can thrive in this economy, then guess what's gonna happen? You're gonna be doing great. And by the way, I've got a note here. I'm gonna be doing a financial success in chaotic times training four Fridays in a row. This coming up Friday, next Friday, the following Friday, the following Friday. So four Fridays starting from this Friday, I'm doing financial success in chaotic times, about one hour trainings, they're free. 1 p.m. California time, 4 p.m. New York time, 9 p.m. London time, okay? So financial success in chaotic times, if you wanna join for free, where I'm going to be teaching you how to thrive financially in chaotic times, four free trainings over the next four weeks starting this Friday. Somebody type that in, please, so that everybody can see that. And I'll be putting links up in the next day or two or three, okay? So let me get rid of that thing. Okay, so that's um, in my morning. So then after I review my Exceptional Life Blueprint and I write down the three things I'm gonna get done today, I then make sure that I exercise, right? So I do this for inner size and I listen to my brain training inner size audios and many of you are clients and you know what that means. Uh, for those of you who do not, uh, I've been giving away some free inner sizes based on my new best-selling book, Inner Size. All right, so you can find some more information on my social media stuff. But after I do my inner size, then I do my exercise, get the body de-stressed, get the body in shape, release those calories, release that tension, and what? Build your cardiovascular system, and especially right now, exercise is great for your cardiovascular system, your lungs, your immune system. Now is the time to start a great 
exercise practice if you don't have one. So now, 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 don't wait. You have time, more time than ever before for most of you. So no more freaking waiting, praying, hoping that things get better. Take control, be in action. So after I exercise, then it's time to actionalize. Then it's time to take action on my high income and high impact priorities. High income, high impact priorities. Why? Uh, well, high, high income priorities make sure that my company is generating enough revenues or more than enough revenues in these chaotic times. There's so much opportunity right now, but also high impact activities. Every one of us has 25 things to do but only two or three or four of them are high impact. So you focus on high impact activities and how do you do that? You take time to organize and plan and then you execute. Don't get caught up just doing, 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 doing. No, plan, then do. All right, that's just in the morning, all right? And by the way, I do this show every Tuesday morning. It's my Achieve Even More show, all right? So be here every Tuesday morning at nine o'clock Pacific time. All right, so that's takes me through the morning. Now, noontime, obviously, oh, by the way, after I exercise, healthy, 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 smoothie, protein, fat, fiber, uh, herbs, minerals, uh, a little bit of fruit, berries, specifically some banana and berries to give me energy. Like you see right now, I have it from 5 a.m. all the way to about 9 p.m. Every day I've got two speeds, high and off. Why? Lots of water. Always, always have water, 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 water in my cup, right? Lots of great food, meditation, and mindfulness, awareness. Slow down a little bit enough to pay attention. Okay, so that's by noon. Have I got you excited yet or exhausted? All right, noontime. Um, well, not noontime, usually around 1230-ish. Now it's time for a little movement, a little walk, a little stretch. I stand at my desk, you know, so a little bit of stretch throughout the day. Right now, right, just a little bit of stretch, a little bit of movement for five, six, seven, eight minutes. Then a little bit of lunch. Healthy salad, healthy food, food that's alive, that feeds my mitochondria, feeds my cells, feeds me so that I have energy. I eat foods that actually give me energy, not food that requires more energy than it gives me. So. Pay attention to what you are putting into your body so that the nine systems can work synergistically so you are healthy. All right, so then um, after I eat well and I invest a little bit of time just chilling, then it's back, all right, to getting stuff done for the day. And so I recalibrate again right after lunch to make sure that I am doing the things that are going to give me the maximum result by the end of the day of work. So am I doing the things that I said I was gonna do in the morning? So a check-in in the morning, a check-in right after lunch, gives me a chance to recalibrate, reassess, and reconfigure what I need to do. And when you do that, now you're in control of your schedule. And like I said before, you cannot manage time. All you can do is manage what you do in time. So, if you're taking time in the morning, and you're taking time just after lunch to make sure that you're doing the right things, then you are gonna be in control. And then after that, I usually work till about 5.30, 6.30, somewhere in that range. I'll invest time with my beautiful wife, my mother-in-law, uh, talk to some friends. What I didn't suggest earlier is this, shut off all distractions during the day, okay? If you have a job or you have a business, freaking work when you're supposed to be working. Play when you're supposed to be playing. Take time off when you need to take time off, but work when you're supposed to work, all right? So this is not a vacation. This is a time for you to accelerate good habits and positive habits. So if you're working, work. If you're playing, play, all right? Make sure you separate the two. So then at, in the evenings is usually when I invest a little bit of time upgrading my knowledge and skills. So I'll read uh, books, I'll watch uh, videos, I'll watch podcasts. I do watch the news uh, at the end of the day for about an hour, uh, and then I just want some downtime. So I want some downtime, and after I do that, before I go to bed, I am reviewing what am I gonna do tomorrow? What worked well today, and what am I going to do tomorrow? So the night before, I'm already planning for 10 minutes what I'm gonna do tomorrow. 
Now I take about five to 10 minutes to do that. And then after I create the focus for the next day, I take five minutes and I close my eyes. And just allow that to sink in. So several times during the day, I'm taking time to be able to chill, to recalibrate, reorganize, readjust the goals that I have on my goal, right? On all my, my little goal forms. Sometimes I'll even read my Exceptional Life Blueprint again at night or I'll listen to it on my mobile phone because I've recorded it on my mobile phone. And so what I'm sharing with you right now is a process right, a process to manage your activities and manage your day instead of your day managing you. And here's what happens to most people. They are running fire drills all day long. And so how do you create processes that work for you? Now, I've just shared with you my process. Now, do you have a process for yourself? Because what most people do or don't do what I've discovered, right, is they just don't have a process that empowers them, that is constructive, that makes sense. Now, I know some of you are saying, but I've got children, my husband, my wife, my, I understand, but create a process with them that you can work, okay? The most successful people I know develop processes around their circumstances, all right, instead of allowing their circumstances to control them. So you can either be a victim of your circumstances or you can build processes to manage the pro, to manage your day, your week, your month, your quarter. Okay. So today's session is short and sweet. I hope you enjoyed this. I've got some other stuff that I'm committed to doing today. So if you enjoy this every Tuesday, my Achieve Even More show is right here. Um, if you like my stuff, you can check it out on YouTube as well. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, all the social media. And we've got a whole schedule to help people have some fun. All right, if you like this, do me a favor and share it. So somebody has uh, just said, you love my book, Having It All. So that's my New York Times best-selling book, Having It All. That's my best-selling book, Inner Size. This is my New York Times best-selling book, The Answer for Business Owners. And we've got the vision board kit. All these books. I've been giving a whole bunch of stuff away lately. So thanks for joining me. Thanks for joining me. Have an awesome day. There is my daily routine. Watch this again. Share it. Like it. Love it. Have an awesome day. Bye now.